So what are some of the solutions? I'm not saying don't build any dams. I'm not saying we can't meet our needs as well. But let's do it in a smart way that's informed by good science. You think about the Mekong, and what's sad about what's happening in the Mekong is that there are, there's very good information about where it might be a good place to build a dam or a bad place to build a dam. And unfortunately, sometimes politics gets involved, and we're not seeing some of those recommendations carried forward. So that's something I feel pretty strongly about. Next, we have to remember that we're all connected to these fish. I mean, like people in the Mekong, 60 million people depend on fish to get most of their protein. And you might think, ah, people in the Mekong, that's far away. Who cares about cute kids? But if you, fit, if you shop at Trader Joe's or Walmart, you're eating the same fish that those kids are eating. You thought you were you're white roughy. It sounds really nice, right? But it's actually, it is nice, but it's a Mekong catfish. It's catfish that's raised in the Mekong Delta. And that's uh, huge amounts of it are exported into the US. Third, I think these fish have an image problem. <laughs> it's not the most beautiful fish. So we need to uh, get people excited about these fish, maybe in a little bit different way. And I just I put this uh, picture up. <laughs> you know, don't laugh. This is how I view uh, the animal world. Uh, we just need to start thinking about these fish for the iconic, charismatic, long-lived fish that they are. They're some of the largest animals on Earth, and they're uh, culturally important. They're indicators of the rivers, the, the health of the rivers where they occur. So when these fish disappear, a lot of times that's a signal to us that something's wrong. I also hear people, and this is something I'd like to bring up, I hear people say, Let, just leave the fish alone. Don't catch them. Leave them alone. But the problem with that mentality, I understand it, but the problem with that mentality is that there are so many threats to freshwater now. Pollution, invasive species, dams, habitat degradation, climate change, that if we just leave the fish alone, the only, the only difference that's going to make is that they're going to disappear in silence. They're going to disappear, and we won't even realize they're gone because we need to be proactive. For me personally, this is, this is what my project's all about. Working with, with local partners to find, study, and protect the world's largest freshwater fish. And right here, freshwater sawfish, one of the most critically endangered fish in the world, and really only found in healthy populations here at the Fitzroy River. I'm hoping that the data we collect can help us put together a plan to protect them here and in other rivers. OK, I'm just going to push it forward gently off the tarp. Here it goes. We need to take action. Uh, and that action can be as simple as practicing catch and release or being smart about what fish you eat. Uh, for someone who studies migratory fish, I've seen in the Colorado, in the Mekong, I've seen the problems that dams can cause if they're not constructed properly, maybe not put in the right place. And so one of the actions that uh, has become an option over the last few years is dam removal. It's coming full cycle from areas where we're building dams and causing problems for these fish to areas where we've realized that maybe the dam shouldn't be there any longer and we're removing them. So this video was taken by a friend of mine, Andy Mazur, and it's on the White Salmon River. It's a Condit Dam, and you can see what it looks like to remove a dam from a river. Scientists, they were expecting it to take perhaps three to four years 
for the salmon to come back into that area where the dam was. And they saw uh, spawning salmon moving up past the dam site in the very first year. So with that, I would like to thank you and thank everyone uh, who has helped with the project over the last 10 years. Good night.